Bed bug infestations have become a big problem in communities across the nation. While most people are not fans of the pests, one man at the University of Maryland actually has a big interest in them. It's sucking my blood. It's draining the life force out of my body. These are the little vampires. These are the vampires of the insect world. Come out at night, feed on people, take their blood, drain them a little bit. Crazy. People ask if we're going to be okay. How afraid should you be? Look, bed bugs have been on this planet for tens of thousands of years. There are more numbers of bed bugs now uh, than we've ever seen in the history of the United States. What we're seeing now is just a resurgence because of the reduced pesticides and probably the international travel. They stay close to where humans sleep or animals sleep so they can move very easily from the mattress or behind the headboard onto the bed, feed on you and then go back to their refuge. But if you have a big sofa and you've got people crashing on the sofa or something like that, they're certainly going to come out at nighttime and feed on uh, whoever is snoozing on that couch. If there's a good side to bed bugs, a positive, it's they're not known to carry any human diseases. So these feed on our blood only. They do not vector any significant, any known diseases to humankind. I think they're kind of cool. I mean, uh, you know, they're very disagreeable and despicable when they're in your apartment. But in terms of animals, let's face it, these guys, uh, ninjas of the night, basically feed at night like little vampires, can suck like six times their body weight in seven minutes. So they really are fascinating in their own regard. I don't want these guys to get out. This is the maximum security confinement facility for bed bugs. There is no escape. Ninjas of the night, I like that. For more on parasitic insects, check out Bed Bug Watch on TBD.com. It can be found on the neighborhood blog section of our website. TBD segment producer Sarah Kenningsberg is with us on set. You uh, shot that video, and what did you learn from it? Uh, I'm still afraid of God. <laughs> I'm still afraid. <laughs> you know, all of a sudden they're just make, it's making news everywhere. It's in yeah, local libraries, up, you know, all around the area. Did, was there anything that you didn't know that you know now about them? I think the main thing that's good, the positive side about bed bugs, is that they don't carry or are known to not carry any human diseases. So, so they're they're more of just you know a, a nuisance. nuisance, and you know no one really wants bugs crawling into their beds and biting them at night, you know, and sucking their blood. Right. Well, because there's enough you can do that in business or any place <laughs> if you work in business. Yeah, I did read though that if if you if you wake up with welts, I mean, you call a professional, mm -hmm. have your house exterminated. Exactly. Go to a doctor if you wake up with with you know itchy, scratchy welts or problems with your skin. But then right. we all that's that's common sense. She said that you could find you know shed skin around, or you could find even eggs. Uh, so get rid of those. Um, and uh, yeah, it's basically itchy welts, little red welts. The biggest thing, people shouldn't be embarrassed because all the experts yeah. are now saying, look, it has nothing to do with personal hygiene or how clean you keep your house. It's just it's just something that's out there right, right and now. basically you have to admit it because if you're not admitting I have bed bugs, other people, you know, they're just going to travel and get on other people. So you really need to just, you know, tell people you have it and then get it. This guy liked his work, though. I yeah, guess as an entomologist, exactly. that's what you do, though. <laughs> he's, in the, he's in the right field. All right, Sarah Kenningsburg, <laughs> thanks for opening our eyes to uh, bed bugs, okay? Thank you.